what if up YouTube. Starting on my day with two banana, 100 gram of oatmeal, five eggs, some almond milk. I put this in the blender. And now I will turn this into some pancake. Fuck. Well, this is my breakfast. I'll put the macros on the screen. Does not look pretty at all, but it probably tastes good. I'm feeling rough, so I need some high stim pre-workout today. So what I'm gonna be taking is one scoop of Gorilla Mode Energy, three capsules of Gorilla Mind Smooth, half a tablet of Cialis, and hopefully that will wake me up and I can get a good leg workout in today. Also, I'm still taking Turkesterone and uh, Ashwagandha over here. I also have some creatine over here, just five, 10 grams a day, I guess. Put that in here. It's obviously looking amazing. Look at that. Wouldn't you wanna drink that? This ain't about drinking is something pretty this is about becoming pretty and strong with this absolute dog water we go gym I forgot my headset and water so this workout will be fueled by my inner demons I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've never had a lag workout, leg workout as bad as today's. Like this shit was absolutely atrocious. Right before I went to the gym, I already couldn't feel like me getting into it. I started doing some deadlifts. They felt pretty light. My knees started hurting. I didn't have my fucking headset. Ended up buying a water at the gym. It is what it is. God, I needed like a spot for my camera in the car. Cause I don't, like this shit's gonna fall. I know, she's gonna fall. And I'm about to kill someone if I don't watch the road and shit. Yo, we got this. Just because the workout is shit doesn't mean your day is shit. Do what you can, and that's all you can do. At the end of the day, that's all you can do. Like, honestly, I felt really tired. I felt really shitty, and I didn't want to go to the gym, but I went. I got some, like, base work in. I, did, I, I moved some weights, and that's the least I could do. Whatever you do, make sure it's like the least amount and you know like when you start that's like the the hardest part is starting you know maybe today i feel like shit and as soon as i started i felt really good like it could have happened because i've had these days before but like today obviously wasn't a day like that but i've had these days so you just gotta start and you never know what the results may turn into so i'm glad i went and i'm glad i tried but I just felt extremely weak. And it is what it is, man. Um, rest day tomorrow. Perhaps I'll go to the gym though. Depending on how I feel, like tomorrow I might feel super strong and still get a kick ass leg day in. Cause I didn't do any accessory work. I just did deadlifts, squats, and some, uh, what do you call it? Like perfect squats, I guess. And that's what I did, but goddamn, let's see what the rest of today brings. Hopefully I can get some good work in for my business. Something you simply can't forget, and I just thought of it like, I get to go to the gym. I get to wake up every single day and I'm fortunate enough to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I've built an income, a passive income, large enough to do whatever I please and work on the things I love to work on. I get to work out every single day and I'm very grateful for that. I've put in that work and because of your guys' support on my other YouTube channel, I've been able to work myself into this situation and you know every day is like a gift like you get to do things you get to go to the gym it's not like oh I have to go to the gym no you get to go to the gym you should be grateful because I was talking to someone on Instagram um, if you're watching this you know who you are and he was saying like I, I can't go to the gym like I'm in Russia at the moment and all the gyms are getting closed down and I'm in a new gym like every single week it's very hard for me to even work out but I'm doing whatever I can and this dude was making mad progress and he was just still pushing through so you know you gotta be respectful and thankful for being able to do what you're able to do when you can do it because when you don't have any more 
you always want it. Some corny shit, but it's true. And even though today was a shit workout, I still did it. Got a charge my headphones because I'm not working out without music again the music in the gym holy shit it's so trash if I ever start a gym and I will there will only be like the best bangers ever playing because the gym music in commercial gyms is so fucking ass bro and I get it not everybody over there is like stimmed out on 400 milligrams of caffeine listening to doom 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 there's some normal music playing, but f that, I hate it. Whenever I forget my headphones or whenever I'm working out with someone and I don't wear my headphones, it's atrocious, I don't want to hear the music. It's my little talk about gym music, I hate it. Chocolate brownie flavor. I don't know what it is, but the past five days I've just not been feeling hungry at all. Uh, yesterday I did eat a lot though. I ate more than what I was supposed to eat. I'm on like 2,700 calories a day, 2,700 to 3K. And honestly, like, I've just not been feeling hungry in the slightest bit like right now i'm not hungry but i know i should eat i just don't know why i'm not normally not like this so no idea what's going on i'm gonna just wait a little bit drink some water wait till i get hungry and then eat yeah i'm just gonna take a shower take today a little more chill it's a sunday anyway not that it matters every day for me is like a, a saturday or a monday or whatever day like every day the same I just shaved my legs. This shit took like 30 minutes, bro. I always forget like how annoying this is to do, but God damn boy. Legs are looking pretty big, even though my leg day today was fucked up. Shave your legs. If you're shredding, it's motivating to see more striations coming every day. On my way to my cousin, we're about to go deadlift. Yesterday I had an absolutely terrible session, but today I'm feeling a lot better, so just gonna get another lift in. It's gonna be pretty fucking sick. So I'll see you guys there. Yo, who are you? About to hit a PR, man. About to hit a PR? Okay, I'm in the gym with Mick, my cousin. If you thought I was tall, Mick. Look at this dude. He's 6'9", bro. 6'9", six, six, nine, 2 meter 7, and I'm 2 meters. So we about to just hit a little PR here. What are you saying, bruv? I'm a weak man. You're a weak man? But the form was clean though. I think you should go for PR. I might I might go for 200. But I can't. I don't know if I can do 200 because I didn't bring my straps. I only brought my belt. So I don't know if I can actually do it.
Who that boy? Huh? Who that boy? What, what would you rate the gym session? Seven. Seven, okay, okay. I rated a, I mean, considering yesterday I already trained, I would give this one a seven as well. Six, seven, it's all right for a double training. I had a nice little uh, deadlift volume. I don't know if it was a BR, because I don't know if I ever wrapped that much, but it was all right. Oh, here. Yeah, you already know, man. God damn. Oh shit! Shit! Het is afscheid van vier jaar. We zien dat twee jaar corona bijna zijn